What's under your nail polish in and under your nails? That does matter. And board certified dermatologist, Dr. Glennis Ablon joins us to give you five critical clues under your nails. And a lot of times we just look at our nails and what color are we gonna put on there? Yeah, and it can hide a lot. And the nails do reveal a lot of systemic A lot diseases more than you think. Problems. It's pretty yeah. amazing. So what do we what do we say we teach five critical clues? You want five critical clues? Yes. Let's go nail by nail. All right. And let's start with a yellow nail. Like we see there all over right. there. All right, so the yellow top. nails, we're not talking about using the wrong nail oh, polish. Right. This is where all of your nails are yellowed like this. Typically, they all have this pattern. You lose the, the lunula, the white uh, half moon shaped part of your nail. When you're dealing with yellow nails, you're looking at, again, all those nails being yellow. They're typically a little thickened. This is not a fungus. This is actually thickened of all the nails. And we see that in different kinds of syndromes. You can actually see the yellow nail syndrome where you actually have fluid around the lungs, mm -hmm. pleural effusions they're called, lymphedema, and then these yellow nails. It's so fascinating that that may point to your lungs. Who would, who would okay. think? Let's move on to the next of our five critical clues under your nails. Number two here, it's bow's lines. That's right, and what you're seeing is this horizontal crease on, on the nail itself. It can be single or it can be multiple, and typically it affects the nail, the nail bed itself and is associated with a specific you know, illness event. Right. My mom actually has them currently. She had meningitis, she was really sick, so a systemic illness where you're very sick, it actually interrupts the growth of the nail. So you can see that if it's about halfway out, your incident, your illness, or your high fevers were about that many months ago. So it tells you kind of how, when that exactly. process happened. Exactly, given that your nails grow a millimeter per month, correct? Right. Yeah, about three to four months to grow out a nail. And protein deficiency, zinc deficiencies, things like that, if you have malnutrition, that can also lead to these Bose lines. Okay. And let's move on to number three. These are called knees lines, a little bit different. Again, th these are a horizontal line, more of a milky white color. It can be single or multiple, and instead of involving nail bed, it's involving the nail per se. Right, and the idea is again that you're looking, most of the time we're seeing it in more than one nail, because you can have trauma that creates somewhat of a look. It's really that white horizontal band, and you're looking at things like congestive heart failure patients will have this, Hodgkin's lymphoma can have it as well.